We had received a call about a suspect inside a home barricaded with a weapon. Uh, before we had received that call, uh, apparently an individual by the name of Michael Ogle, 59-year-old Michael Ogle, did not show up to work this morning. Um, when a family member went to the home to check to see what was going on was when she noticed 63-year-old Emma Ogle inside the home with a gun. Uh, that's when we received the call just shortly after 8 o'clock about the barricaded suspect. Uh, multiple agencies responded to the scene to include medic, Huntersville Fire, uh, members of our North Mecklenburg Regional SWAT team. Uh, we had crisis negotiators on site as well as HPD detectives on site. Um, once our SWAT team was able to make entry into the home, they did locate two deceased parties inside the residence, and they were of uh, Emma Ogle and Michael Ogle, and they did suffer from gunshot wounds. So that is all the information that we have. Based on that, it's fair to assume she was alive when the other family member arrived? Yes. We haven't confirmed that yet, but right now the information we have is that she was still alive when the family member got there and uh, her husband was not. Was the, sh the, the fatal shot, was, was the, the shot that killed her fired after you all arrived? You know? So we're not sure. That's what we're trying to figure out. We're still, we still have detectives on scene now, still trying to go through the residence. Sorry? The other family member, the condition on them? Condition on them? Yes. They, the other person in the house, yes. The, he was deceased. That was Michael Ogle. Okay, I'm sorry. I, yep. I, I, I misheard. I was thinking there were three people. I'm sorry. No, no, no. There okay. were only two people inside the home. Con I think Ogle might be OG Ellie. Yep, OG Ellie. Yep. 50 year old Mike? 59-year-old. 59, age yep. Yes. The family member. So the family member contacted the work and they contacted us. Was that third family member in the house at any point? I don't think she ever made it inside the home. No. She arrived at the house though? Yes. And saw Emma with a gun? Yes. And you're not clear on whether he had already killed her? So that we're still trying to get through a lot of that information. Um, once we have all of that, because it's still a very active scene, so once we have all that information, we'll send out a press release to you guys later on to confirm a lot of that. Are you investigations are from here? So, you know, our detectives are still on scene. You know, we've spoken with family members, and um, it, it's just at this point trying to piece together exactly what happened. Had you received any other calls from this house? I'm not sure. Anybody else have any other questions? It is. It's it's a very unfortunate situation. Um, it's not, you know, it's not a very common thing that we see here in Huntersville. Um, so when it happens, it, it's it's shocking. Um, but our our detectives are doing everything they can. We're you know offering support to the family. So it's really all we can do at this point. Are you able to say the type of gunshot uh, Michael suffered? What shot? Was shot? Not at this time. No. Uh, so that, you, you're going to have to check with CMS police on that. Um, I'm not sure on, on her exact charges. And with the neighborhood, did they have to evacuate or anything? It wasn't exactly a big, uh, like a development type neighborhood. Uh, the home was pretty far back. It was offset off the roadway, so it was kind of isolated. Any other questions? We'll send out a press release. Has the family member disclosed anything in regards about like any fears of this kind of happening? Like any any past That I'm not sure. That's gonna be all part of the, the investigation, the ongoing investiga investigation that they're conducting. Is there any timeline on exactly when the husband may have been shot? Was it this morning or was it evening shot? We're not sure. And that's something again that we're out there investigating and trying to piece together. We don't.
that's you know that's still part of the investigation that we're tr still trying to find out. And when investigators went inside the house, was she still alive or no? No, she was deceased. So the only signs of her being alive was the family members seeing her with a gun. Correct. All right. Good. All right. I'll send a, a press release or out to you guys later on today. And just go inside and the talk. guys on what's going on. We appreciate <laughs> right. that. That really helps us. Which one is ours? You've got a gun. I'm going to let you pull it off. Thank you. And it's in the